Hello, I'm Duke Stockslager with Stockslager's Greenhouse and Garden Center in New Lebanon, Ohio, a family-owned business since 1959. We are here year-round growing spring flowers, annuals, perennials, bedding plants, vegetables, fall mums, and Christmas poinsettias. Let's talk a bit about annuals and perennials, the advantages, disadvantages, which I really can't think of any disadvantages. Annuals will bloom their little heads off all summer long. Annuals do not come back year to year like the perennials do. However, they will bloom from early spring when we set them out into our gardens and all the way through most often early uh, frost. One thing that we can do when we plant our annuals and periodically throughout the summer is to use some of that liquid plant food. The liquid plant food gets right to the roots right away and that will ensure your success with your annuals. Sun patients, very similar to the New Guinean patients, they love the summer sunshine. They will bloom all season long. They do not have to be deadheaded. They like to dry down between waterings. Multiple colors, another fun part about this species of plant. Cabaret Calibracoa. A lot of folks understand these or know them as the Million Bells Petunias. The Calibracoa, another plant that loves summer, loves the sunshine, and you will love them because they are tremendous performers. They will continue to trail, they will bloom. You do not have to deadhead or work with them. Water them and feed them regularly and that is going to make the difference on the success and enjoyment that you get out of this plant all summer long. Lantana. This has got to be one of the grower friendly plants that there are out there because it likes to get dry between waterings and it loves the hot sunshine. I plant a flower bed full of lantana in the ground. Our pollinators love lantana. And with the new varieties that have been introduced through the breeders, we have lantana that people have really come back year after year because they are discovering that lantana is a wonderful addition to their gardens. Perennials, perennials come back year after year. We love them just because they do that. We have some perennials that bloom early spring. I can think of Helleborus as one of the earliest blooming. Crocus love to bloom up through the snow early spring. You have a stilby, which is usually around a June flowering plant. We have columbine, which is beginning to flower. Columbine would just be coming into flower within the next month in Southwest Ohio in our growing zone. Pasta, pasta are so fun. Just ask the deer, they love them. Morning sun is good, afternoon shade. There are some varieties of hosta that are more tolerant of the sunshine than others. However, as a general rule of thumb, afternoon shade. There are so many different varieties of hosta. Another plant that I really enjoy are the sedum. And they have introduced many new varieties of sedums. You see a red leaf sedum, you see the green sedum. What's fun about sedum is when they begin to flower late summer, early fall, the bees love them. They are our pollinator friends. This is a great source for them to visit. Sedum come from the low spreading ground covers all the way upwards to the taller upright Autumn Joy, which sends out beautiful flower spikes come late summer and the flowers are long lasting. Cladium is more of a tropical plant. They are from a tuber or a bulb, if you will. They have to be dug up in the fall. They will not winter over, they will freeze out. There are so many different flavors of caladiums. The colors are tremendous. Not known for a flower, but yet the coloring of their leaves. They do a tremendous job. 
of mixing in in a shade garden. They like to keep their feet a little moist, but they will grow quite nicely in our summers in southwestern Ohio. Stop in at Stockslagers. We are here to help you. If you're successful at your gardening endeavors, we are going to be successful.